What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Gray Zone Warfare video. Listen, I'm going to give you everything you need for day one of early access, depending on how much you know about the game or don't know about the game. Everything of how you need to approach the game will be in this video. So please stick around for the whole video. Let's dial it in. So when you get into early access, there's going to be some a few things you need to do up front. Okay? When you create your character, make sure you select the right faction you want to be in, everything like that. But when you load in, the first crucial thing you need to do is walk around your fob, kind of get the feel of the game, and change your settings. I will be putting out a video day one of early access for this reason. Everybody can kind of get their optimal settings. You know, I'm going to explain everything that you need. Because in this type of game, especially with the graphics and everything that's going on with UE5 and all that stuff, you're going to want to have the optimal settings. Okay. So everybody's rig is a little bit different, but the settings video that I put out should be fine, you know, overall. So after that's done, you need to locate all of the traders, accept your missions and kind of see what you have to do. Right. I don't know if they're going to have any type of like training or like introduction that goes with the game, but we'll see. Obviously, if that's in the game, go ahead and do that. After you do that, I would strongly consider guys finding a group of people to play with. OK, so with that being said, guys, we have the Caliber Collective. Discord is going to be in the description below. Join it. We're going to have plenty of people to play with, man. Everybody in there is solid so far. There has not been any loopy people. Everybody's solid, man. A lot of experience in things like Arma, Tarkov, Squad, Ready or Not, just, you know, these types of shooters, right? So feel free to join up. Look for a game. Introduce yourself. Ping me. I'll talk to you and we can get a game going. Because playing this game solo, while it can be done, you might not want to do that out the gate. So I would, if I were you, try to find a full team. If you already have, you know, people to play with, that's great. So after you get your group, kind of strategize, see who's going to be running what, what type of gear, load out everything you need for the mission. Look at your map or whatever resources they have to make sure you're optimized to do the mission and complete the mission in the best way possible. After that, you're going to need to decide if you're going to go on foot or catch a ride with a little bird, right? So depending on where you're going, might be able to hoof it on foot, be a little quieter or fly. So decide who's going to do that, call it in and go. So I want to say this, mission completion is the absolute key for leveling in this game. All right. It's not going to be the PVP. It's not going to be running around killing AI. It's completing the mission. All right. The story comes first. So you can unlock traders, unlock better gear and, and eventually move on through the game. Right. You have to complete the missions to have the full experience. So I would focus on that, especially early. Focus on the missions, enjoy yourself and try to do them in the best way that you can. Plan for it. Read the description of the mission, read the objective, and try to do it the best way that you can. Now, the PvP, right? Encountering other PMC groups in the field. Their slogan is every move matters, right? When you see another player, okay, or group of players, you need to strongly consider where you're at in your mission. Running into a PvP fight and not thinking logically about what's best, whether you want to extract your food, your water, your energy, you know, ha have you got the stuff you need for the mission done? Have you got some of it done? What's the status of your teammates? All these things need to be taken into place. It's not like, you know, Escape from Tarkov or these other games where it's kind of like every man for himself. It's you're a unit. So you need to strongly consider your approach when you do see a PVP opportunity. Strongly consider how you handle it. Don't just think of the first thing. That type of thinking is going to be the skill gap in this game. It's not going to really be so much the gunplay. That it's important always, but your decision making in real time will be the most important thing. So out the gate, day one, really slow it down and really think about how you're going to get a mission complete, depending on what type of adversaries you run into. Now, the last thing, when you extract, clear the LZ, do a perimeter check, wide loops, good angles, make sure you're safe to extract. Okay. That's the basic loop guys. I know a lot of people that already know a lot about gray zone probably found this video, you know, not that informative, but a lot of people are going to come into this game as early access comes out and this video will help them. Okay. That's the basic loop of what happens. Everything else we're going to have to learn as it comes. Right. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it and I hope you take it and apply it. That's all I have for you guys. And remember, join the discord below. We'll be glad to have you. Make sure y'all check me out on Twitch. I'll be streaming this game as much as I can. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you making it this far. That's all I have for you. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.